Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So it is an inevitable part of sewing. Every once in a while, you have to rip out the stitches that you put in, whether it's on a sewing machine or even on a serger. Sometimes you just make a mistake and you need to undo what you did. So today I'm going to be showing you three different ways to unstitch your sewing machine stitches and your serger stitches. And as we all know, the serger stitches can be a, can be real annoying to pull out. So let's get over to the cutting table and I'll show you three different ways to remove both of those seams. Okay, so I made up some samples. Uh, just pretend these are side seams or some kind of bodice, shoulder seam, something or another. All right, we have a couple of ways to unsew a sewing machine stitch. One is to take your seam ripper and to place it underneath the threads. I go, I don't know, every inch or so, skipping along until I'm able to pull some of them apart, like so, and then kind of keep that going, and carefully ripping them out. The back stitches are the hardest, obviously, because there's like more stitching there, and you go like that until you're able to get some more going. The other way is to take a fairly long, tail of the threads like so and this works really well on basting stitches that are a little bit longer but you get yourself a little tail going and then you pull you might need to break it up into smaller sections depending on how tight the stitch is but you can pull it out like that and now all of this is undone i do that too especially if it's a sturdy fabric your lighter weight fabrics never gonna work. Um, they're just too delicate. And also if you're pulling on anything that is like on the bias or I don't know, it can get really dicey doing it that way. Another option is to utilize this little red ball that's on the end of your seam ripper. You might've noticed it there and never really knew what it was for. And its intention is to be kind of a guide for the seam ripper to be able to just slice through all of this entire seam. So you have to get it going a little bit. So just come in here toward the end, pick out a couple of these stitches, especially the back stitching stitches, like so. You should be able to lay your fabric down, place the ball on the table and the like pointy part face up and then you can rip right through like this. So this works well, again, on sturdy, stable fabrics, but on lighter weight fabrics, and even sometimes more sturdy fabrics, this can go a little haywire and it can cut into your fabric. And when you're cutting with the seam ripper, it's cutting along the seam line. So it's a little bit unforgivable. The option that I have found that works really great on fabrics of all kinds, including knit fabrics, is something called a seam remover. This comes from the people at Kai Scissors. So you know the blade is gonna be extraordinary and the product is going to be very well made. And the way that this works, it's really simple. You sort of take the, Blades are encased in like this little plastic casing. So if you have seen something similar that you bought in the beauty aisle of your convenience store or your uh, pharmacy, it does not have these little plastic protectors around each blade. So those similar to how the seam ripper did with the red ball, can kind of go haywire and just cut into your fabric. But the seam ripper is designed to cut the threads, but not the fabric, 
because of the little plastic guard that is in place. And you can see I'm barely touching the threads and I'm not touching the fabric at all. As the thread, as the fabric separates and the threads are exposed, that's when the seam remover comes into place and you can easily remove this. Cool, right? I love, love, love the seam remover. So I thought while I was here discussing seam ripping from your uh, sewing machine stitches, we could also talk about serger stitches. So it's annoying, I know, but every once in a while you'll serge something and you need to take it out for one reason or another. I think the more traditional method is to come in and just start you know, seam ripping, cutting all these threads. You have a million little threads everywhere using your seam ripper. And certainly that is still an option. You can also take some like embroidery scissors. I like these with the little curved uh, scissor. I don't know, what's that part called? <laughs> um, because you can get in under these threads. And you know, there is a right side and a wrong side to your serger threads. The right side is the one that has the uh, stitch going down the middle and the wrong side does not. So find the right side, slip the embroidery scissor underneath and cut. Slip the blade under and cut all the way down. And then take your seam ripper to the wrong side of the serger stitches, pull up one of those, and then you'll be able to easily pull away your serger stitches that way. So then I thought, why not try the seam remover on serger stitches as well? I love it so much for the sewing machine stitches, so why not try it here as well? And lo and behold, I came up here right side up and you can see all those threads are exposed and I just started sawing gently, barely putting any pressure on, and eventually it gets going and you're able to quickly and easily cut through all of those layers of threads all at once. So this little guy is like $6 on Kai's website. It comes in three different colors. I don't think you get to pick your color. I think it's just randomly chosen, but just so you know, there's all the colors, they're all beautiful. Um, and you can really, it's a powerhouse. I mean, you can really use this on any stitch that you've got, whether it be the sewing machine stitch or your serger stitch, you can use the seam remover to quickly and easily remove seams of any kind. And I am always here for bang for the buck. And for six bucks, I mean, how much do these cost? These can cost as much as $20. So you'll get, you'll use a lot less of this and be able to preserve this for things that you really need it for and be able to kind of go through the, these more quickly, which are, they're cheaper, so why not? So there you have it. Hopefully I showed you today at least one or two different options that you had never considered before to get those seams removed. If you would like to get a Kai seam remover, check the description box. I have got a direct link to where you can find that on their website, as well as a coupon code that you guys can use over at kaiscissors.com. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.